What's up guys, it's David with Trade School Consulting and today we're gonna to talk about pressure washing machines. So there's a lot of debate out there on whether you should have a five and a half or an eight, whether you should start with a 2.5 or a four. And so I thought to make this video and kind of clear up some stuff just based off of the experiences that I've had with these machines. Um, because when I started out, I started out uh, renting a pressure washer from Home Depot and gradually moved up from that. So I've seen a lot of different machines. I've used a lot of different machines personally, and I know what works best for us and, and what works for my company. So um, with that being said, I want to dive into the beginner question uh, about the two and a half or the four. And my answer is going to be that you should try to get the four. A lot of people get caught up in the PSI, but the PSI isn't really uh, what you're looking for. Two thirds of the job is spraying water. And so you want the machine that throws as much water per minute as possible. So what you're looking for is the gallons per minute on the box. That's what you want to see on the machine. Is it going to be two and a half, three, four? The more that throws, the faster you're able to rinse uh, the house pre-applying the chemical and post-applying the chemical. So um, with that being said, try to get a four if possible. Uh, the difference in price between a three or a four is minimal and the amount uh, that you'll feel like you're moving is going to be a lot different. So if you can get a four, now a lot of people ask, well, should I get a four direct drive or a four belt drive? I personally always tell people to get the direct drive and here's why. With a four direct drive, you don't need a buffer tank. You can essentially run off of houses for most areas. Now, some of these areas in, in the United States, they don't have good water pressure and you will have to carry water around and in that case you might want to get a belt drive because it pulls better from a tank than a direct drive does. With that being said though, most places have water spigots at residential homes they are going to let out at least four gallons a minute if not five. And so you don't need a buffer tank for most four gallon residential wash setups. You can directly hook your hose up from your machine to the house and get to, to washing. So. Uh, with that being said, I always, the reason I say go ahead and get the direct drive instead of the belt drive is mainly because you're going to outgrow your four gallon pretty quickly. Uh, if, especially if you're able to put the money back into the business, the way that I was able to, we only used the four for a few months before we were able to upgrade to a five and a half. And then, uh, from the five and a half, we went to an eight. And then eventually we have soft wash machines now that do 10 or 11 gallons a minute. And so for high volume rinsing, that's, that's ideal. Now let's jump to the five and a half verse eight conversation. Now, again, I'm a firm believer in that two thirds of the job, two thirds of the job is spraying water. That's all you're doing. You're pre rinsing, then you apply your chemical, then you post rinse. So two thirds of the job is just spraying water and trying to rinse as fast as you possibly can. So for that, I say, get the eight gallon per minute. And at this point you get an eight gallon per minute belt drive. We're not talking direct drive anymore. Uh, or you know anything like that. Like you wanna get the best equipment possible when you're spending the money on an eight gallon per minute unit. With that being said, I've talked to a lot of people and although I don't personally use the eight gallon or the uh, five and a half to spray chemical, a lot of people apply their chemical application with a five and a half because it tends to use less chemical when, when applying it. So that may be something you wanna keep in mind. I've also been told and I can't verify this because again i don't use the five and a half to apply chemical like we like we have in the past and uh you know there's less atomization there's less pressure um so five and a half may be your route to apply chemical now again that's what i've been told personally in my opinion we apply with the eight we rinse with the eight we move very quickly when when dumping that much water or when applying that much chemical that fast and uh it's worked out really well for us so the eight gallon is the route that we've went now we can downstream uh, with the eight gallon, which is the, the lower of the two, and then uh, heavy volume rinse with uh, our soft wash machine if we choose to. And that'll be dumping 10 or 11 gallons a minute onto the property. And so uh, once you move at the five and a half to eight, or you know, going up into some of these soft wash machines that are high, high volume rinsing, you wanna make sure that you have a buffer tank that's capable of keeping up with the machines. So if you know that your residential houses in your area are pumping out somewhere between four and a half and five and a half gallons per minute, then you wanna make sure you have a tank that's sizable enough to keep up with the eight gallon a minute draw that you're coming off of that tank. So just keep these things in mind as you start to think about you know, different machines, the different costs that goes into them. 
I always suggest in the beginning to buy used equipment because I, again, believe that you're going to grow out of the first equipment that you buy pretty quickly. And the faster you get out of that, the faster you'll start moving uh, on your job sites because your equipment's going to allow you to throw that much more water. So just remember that when you're always thinking about it, it's not really about the PSI. You know, if you have above 2200 PSI, you're going to be fine. You don't need four, five, six thousand PSI to clean anything. You'll actually end up probably damaging something with that much pressure. So just pay attention to the GPMs or gallons per minute on the machines. That'll give you your best, uh, you know, guess on to which machine you should be choosing. Uh, with that being said, man, it's a quick video, but I hope that it helps you guys out. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and wash on. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,